Hello, fellow goblins, and welcome to a very, very spooky 100 subscriber special. Everyone say hello to this spider. This is how I spent my day. I saw this spider. I went, yes, this spider. Many of you may remember Dr. Plague. Anyway, today I'm just going to be doing a bit of an tutorial on how to create an OC. Nothing spooky about that, except I have... It's going to be spooky. I'm sorry, but it's spooky season and everything I touch during the month of October just instantly becomes spooky. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyway, that was the intro. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for um, 100 subscribers. If you want to make that more than 100 subscribers, maybe subscribe, like the video, turn on notifications. I would tell you to comment on this video, but um, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube likes to turn off my comments. YouTube. Um, but anyway, that's that. Um, enjoy the video! Alright, I want to start out to talk about an OC that is just, I guess, for the sake of being an OC. I really like drawing her. Um, she's just spooky, and that's it. And her name's Octavia. Um, I don't have... Um, credit for her name because I drew her on a short that I made and somebody commented that I should name her Octavia and I did because that fit perfectly um but I just want to talk about her because um well um one I wanted to start out the video on a spooky note because I did not promise you guys a Halloween spooky 100 subscriber special for nothing okay I made a spooky video so I'm drawing a spooky Halloween girl with a candy cane tail um, and I just have her because I, she doesn't really have that much of a personality. I have a few things to inform her. Um, but this is just like an OC that you draw that isn't for anything. It's not for, like, a serious, like, comic or project. It's just somebody that you like drawing, and that's fine. You don't need to have a lot of information for a character that you're just drawing just to draw unless you want to so she's very design focused and that's okay and of course how her design isn't really informed by her personality because of course it's mostly informed of a great and wonderful spooky season but i do have some things written and down about her and here is her color scheme. Ignore the My Hero Academia portraits on the other page. We'll have to wait for the sketchbook store for that. You can pause the video to read the stuff I wrote about her, but yeah. And there she is. The spooky, spooky OC. <laughs> Okay, so this part of the video will be how to create an OC for like a legitimate project, like a book or a script or something. Um, and how I do it is I always start with a good protagonist, and that's why you're seeing a bunch of pictures of Sabrina, who I draw almost every day, because I have a problem. Um, <laughs> and then, because I always like to start a with a protagonist, because you're seeing the story through their eyes, regardless of if you write the story in first person, third person, or if you don't write it at all and it's told through a visual medium. Um, I don't really have a lot to say about design other than their design is informed by their personality, obviously, and um, that is how I designed her. Um, like, she's a grim reaper, so that's most of what informs her character design because she has a scythe and she has like a, I don't know, <laughs> grim reaper-y outfit if that's a thing. Here's some expressions I did for her. I find expressions are very important to figure out, like, who a character is. Like, gotta make all their expressions unique. Like, not every character is gonna frown or cry in the same way, or not every character is gonna, like, blush or get angry in the same way. And that really adds a lot of personality to them. Um, I don't know. I went with Sabrina because she has a very, like, some of her is, like, very 
let's go with emotionally unstable. <laughs> Just because that's an interesting lens to the story to be told through. And I think that's the protagonist that suits the kind of book that I'm writing. And part of her just, I don't know, it's just, I think this term cinnamon roll is like outdated at this point, but she, I was, I'm sorry, but in a way, yes, she's kind of as a cinnamon roll side to her personality, but then also a very mentally unstable person side to her personality. If that makes sense at all, I know it doesn't, you really just have to read the book. Her design is also informed by the fact that she is a demon, obviously, and um, that's her. That's how I created my main character, and I hope this tip, this tip helps you guys to create a character, and keep in mind what, what lens you want your story to be told through. That'll inform. Okay, and this next part of the video is on how to create characters that are not the protagonist. Um, I don't want to say, like, side characters, because these aren't really side characters, and I sort of created a main trio, which is a trope you see throughout a lot of media, and it's the main trio is the protagonist Sabrina, her girlfriend Calliope, but you aren't supposed to know that they're going to get together yet, and then her best friend Frankie, and they have personalities that complement each other, and I think that's important, so tip number one is have them have like personalities that complement each other, like if one character is weak at something, the other character can be good at it, and... I, I don't know, this is just a personal thing, but I like having some characters that go, like, way back and, like, known each other since childhood, and other characters that are, like, just met each other. I don't know. I don't know why I like doing that, since I feel like it just adds more awkwardness when they're all in a group, but I do it anyway, and so, yeah. Tip number two, don't be like me. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I do write character profiles for them, but I don't really like to rely on character profiles like I used to. And, of course, I really like having their own backstories. They are all having unique backstories and them all not being centered on the main character, Sabrina's goals. Although, they all have their own goals, and sometimes their goals align, and sometimes they want, like, the opposite thing, which creates, like, tension and conflict. Yeah. Frankie is the bat demon who's sometimes a bat and sometimes a deer and then Calliope is oh never mind we're on Looney now and then another one is just to branch out from the main character this is Looney Sabrina's younger sister who they haven't seen each other in a while and they're just reuniting so that's another point of like conflict in the story I don't know where this is going but uh <laughs> that's the end of this one I guess